I like to start off by stepping into the shower. I like to thoroughly cleanse my body with the bar of soap and the handy dandy old rag. <laughs> so for me, I use the Doves for sensitive skin or I use the CeraVe soap bar. You can't miss this step, okay? For body wash, I'm taking my good old Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and it is in peppermint. So you're going to be squeaky, squeaky clean, okay? Like clean, clean, fresh. To wash my kitty, I am going to be taking my baby Castile soap, okay? This is unscented. You know, she likes the fragrance-free kind of vibe. Also, make sure you're using a bar of soap and a rag on her as well. To exfoliate, I am using a scrub that I make. So, this scrub helps me just remove any dead skin cells that I may have, any skin buildup. It helps me maintain my glowing my glowing skin, okay? And I love to do this before a shave. Now it is time to step into the bath. I love adding my Dr. Teals to give us those bubbles that we want as well as Epsom salt. They're both in lavender, so they're going to relax us, okay? I'm adding apple cider vinegar to actually activate the Epsom salt as well as some lavender oil just to relax us even further. I do suffer from dry skin, so I am adding milk and honey into my bath just for a deeper hydration and that glowy skin that we love. I'm also going to be adding limes into the bath. I enjoy easing my mind, reflecting on things, and just unwinding in the bath, especially with a glass of wine. Okay, girl? taking another scrub that I make down in the kitchen and these smell amazing it smells like cocoa butter I'll make another one that smells like oranges like these literally smell amazing so I'm just going to be taking my exfoliating gloves and just rubbing that all over my body and my skin these are very very soft so your skin is gonna look amazing feel amazing <music> After that, I'm also going to go over my skin with lime. You guys, this is good for tightening your skin, refreshing, and just reviving your skin. And also, if you have dark marks that you do not want, it also will help with that, but you will have to be using it over time. <music> Just clear my mind and meditating in the bath. I do this by listening to certain hertz frequencies. You guys can find them here on YouTube, but it just takes me to a whole different space that I absolutely love. And I enjoy doing this in the bath because it just grounds me a little bit more.
After the bath, I massage coconut oil all over my body. It just makes my skin so soft and smooth. I am headed to lunch, so I do want to go ahead and get my face done, girl. But I do know that concealer is too light for my face, but I have to go to the store and pick up some more. So we're just going to roll with this for today. I'm taking my hair down and I want to just spray it with water, you know, just to kind of bring some moisture back to the hair. I want it to be damp, but it is totally fine if it's completely wet. Let's do a little bit of a rewind to see how this hair got to this point. So I did bleach the entire unit and I bleached the ends even lighter, you guys. I was going for a burgundy look, but I wanted the bottom to be lighter and the top to be a little bit darker. It didn't come out how I wanted it at all. So I decided to chop it all off into a bob. This unit did come in the inches 24, I believe. I made the decision to just revamp the entire unit, okay? It did come with a 4x4 lace closure and it is 180 density. And if I did not mention, this unit is from Ali Grace. Check the description box for their details. The hair feels amazing. It's so nice. And I can never find my hair scissors when I need them, okay? <laughs> But I am going to be dyeing the hair again. I do like to use hot, hot water doing this. I don't know why. But I'm just going to pour that black dye all in the water and just saturate the wig in the bowl and let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes. <music> portion I'm just going to be adding one of my favorite mousses from for curly hair it is from Tresemme but I'm just going to be putting that all into the hair but it does make your hair a little crunchy so if you don't like any crunchiness you guys you could just add oil or you could just opt for a different mousse <music> This is one of my favorite gels to use on any type of curly hair. It is the Eco Stylers Argan Oil and it's going to make any curly hair pop. So I'm just going to be scrunching that all throughout the unit and I just love the way the gel makes the curls pop, it makes the hair glisten, it makes it defined, it just, it looks so good y'all. <music> Now we don't want any snowflakes and we don't want any crunchy crunchy hair so to combat that I am taking olive oil I love putting olive oil in here you guys can choose different oils avocado oil argan oil you guys can choose different oils of your choice but I just personally love using olive oil so I'm just gonna run that all throughout the hair <music> love just playing in this hair it just looks amazing but we're just gonna let this hair dry and while it is drying you guys I am going to enjoy me another glass of wine but I'm not going to be overdoing it okay <laughs> Now 
Now that the cocoa butter has had a chance to just penetrate and sit into our skin, I am going to be taking my bare vanilla and my cocoa butter oil. This mixture is amazing. You're going to be smelling edible all day. So you guys, I just like to lotion my whole entire body with this and your skin is going to look glowy it's because of that cocoa butter oil. Make sure you guys are not neglecting your hands. So I'm just going to be taking my Seela's hand moisturizer and moisturizing my hand. And make sure you guys don't forget your cuticles. So I'm going to be taking this far side or far side line all over my cuticles. I cannot find my cuticle oil or the oil that I use on my cuticles. So I have to use this serum. for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure you look at all of our recent videos see you in the next video bye guys